Hi guys, how are you? Okay, so do you remember that video I did, like I think it was in November of last year about this band called Alica's Attic that played in Chattanooga. It was kind of like a big deal at the time. Remember that? This place called Michelangelo's used to exist. That was all I could find. Well, <laughs> you know, I went, I made that vlog. I went down there and I filmed what the place looks like now. And I thought that was going to be the end of it. Then, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving to work. It's like the end of January. I was driving to work and I, that video popped into my head again. Now, I know well enough <laughs> that when things just pop into my head, I'm not supposed to ignore them. I'm like, hmm. Why is this popping back in? What? Ooh, what? So I went back and kind of, you know, revisited some of the research that I had done previously and came to discover that the 30th anniversary of the concert and the broadcast is on March 1st of this year. Oh, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. So I was kind of like, I think I just, yeah, I just had an idea. Yeah, it's not every day that something of historical significance like that, even historical, musical, local significance happens here. Uh, most of the history here is either centered around the Civil War or the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Oh, pardon me, boy. Yes, yes. Is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo? That's the Chattanooga Choo Choo. On track 29. 29. Uh huh. That's on the Tennessee line. She said the Tennessee line. And I was like, what am I going to do? One week later. That evening, I invited my mother to join me for dinner at Community Pie. Take a deep breath. Because I knew that if I got the chance, I would try to make contact with the, you know, the managers or whomever was there to kind of talk to them about this and see if they were even remotely interested or if he, they knew about it. Because the last time I tried to talk to somebody about it was when I went to film it and they had no idea. They were like, really? <laughs> You mean what Keith's brother? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's what else I'm talking about here. His brother and his sister, okay? <laughs> so they sat us at our table. And funny enough, our table that they sat us on was at a high top that was in the general area where I believe the stage was located. So I was like, dang it, that's not a sign. Alrighty then. And I paused. Get a deep breath and I said, excuse me. <laughs> you know, and I asked her, I was like, excuse me, are you the manager? She's like, yeah. <laughs> so there I was, y'all, proceeded to tell this lady. My first com my first thing was, this is gonna sound crazy, but I don't mean it to sound crazy. So do you know what this place used to be? And she's like, Ooh. <laughs> used to be a music club called Michelangelo's. She goes, I've heard that name. Several people had said that name to me. And I said, well, now I don't know if you're aware. And then I proceeded to tell the story. She's like, are you serious? Are you joking? I was like, I pulled it up on, on my phone on YouTube and I showed her just a part of it. And she was like, according to some of the research I read, this is actually considered still a pretty popular show and many polls uh done in the uh in the uk so i don't know i mean i guess at the time it was like a super huge deal mostly because you know uh of the place and also because uh it was an, an, a broadcast and also well <laughs> because of river i don't know how to put this but i'm kind of a big deal so uh she was just like that was her reaction the whole time 
you know, she was so excited. She goes, and I said, I said to her, I was like, you know, I don't know exactly, you know, if you would be open to it, but truthfully, the 30th anniversary is literally like a month away. And well, actually less now, but, <laughs> and I uh, thought it would be kind of cool to have some kind of commemoration. She asked me to send her all the research. So I ended up sending her my, my vlog that I did along with all the articles and a, a link to the, uh, the best copy of the interview I could find. So I'm still waiting to hear whether or not uh, their interest is a pretty science. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe we'll get something cool, but regardless, we're gonna be down there on March 1st just to film and commemorate and remember and exciting.